Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris here from 2HB Productions here with my dad. We're here with weekly CFL picks. This is week one, and on Thursday is between Montreal. They're at Winnipeg. So pretty much, we're just going to be picking who we think is going to win. So in this match, you know, Montreal, they've always been a great team. They've had good defense and uh, one of the best offenses in the league. In Winnipeg, their defense is really good, but... Buck Pierce, I don't know what the hell he's going to do. You never know with him. So, um, I don't know if Winnipeg's offense can get it done. I'm thinking Montreal will win. Okay, my pick, I agree with you. Winnipeg just looked terrible. They lost 52 nothing to Hamilton in exhibition. I mean, it's just exhibition, but uh, yeah, I'll take Montreal as well. Montreal, okay. Friday, we have Hamilton at Toronto. Now, Toronto, they look like they're going to be, uh, they might repeat again because they look really good. Chad Owens, wow, he is amazing. And their defense under Chris Jones is, once again, one of the best in the league. And um, their offense with Ricky Ray is just, un just about unstoppable. Hamilton with Burris, they are a fairly good team, you know. I don't know about their defense, but I know their offense is pretty good. So, But I will have to go with Toronto. Okay, with this one, um, I think I'm going to go with Hamilton in this one. Just because it's a big rivalry. This could go either way. This is going to be a field goal either way. And, uh, uh, yeah, week one, anything can happen. I think Hamilton can rise up and beat Toronto. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have BC at Calgary. Once again, this is going to be a very good game. Um, BC, they have, once again, a good defense. Um, I'm not sure what Paul McCallum is, but I don't know if they need him or not. And, uh, once again, a great offense with Travis Lule and stuff. they got some good receivers and uh, good old line. And um, Calgary, um, I'm not sure who's... They're probably going to start Drew Tate. I don't know um, if he's going to be good or bad. You never know with him. Uh, Calgary defense, they're... Once again, really good, and um, but I'm gonna have to go with the uh, Lions in this one. Well, I really don't know what to pick in this one. This is gonna be another close one. Um, and they can happen in the CFL. I think Calgary might squeak this one out. They'll this will be another close game. Maybe a you know maybe a field goal at the end will decide it. Okay, now we have uh, Saskatchewan at Edmonton. Once again, these t these teams, they're not the greatest teams in the world. Um, Saskatchewan, their offense isn't that good. Neither is their, their defense is all right, but uh, Edmonton, um, they lost, really lost something with Ricky Ray, and um, I really don't know who to pick in this one. I'm just going to say Saskatchewan because of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Durant. And G. Roy Simon's playing for him, so what happened okay well I'm gonna disagree on this one we only agree with one and that's the Winnipeg Montreal game because I'm taking Edmonton um, once again I'm just basing this on what I saw in preseason uh, that uh, quarterback that um, Riley they got from the Lions he, he seems pretty good Lions lose one of their backups again and uh, you know another team picks him up so uh, I'm going to take Edmonton in this one, and they might, you know, they might win by quite a bit, maybe by 14 points. So that's my picks. Okay, so these are our picks. Once again, it is just one point for the correct team. So yeah, so.